Hello, everyone. This is a course tour. It is a purely practical guide to how the course is laid out, how to utilize the different things that are here. There'll be a separate video in which I think more importantly, I'll discuss the actual uh, purpose of the course, the content of the course, how I've decided to arrange things thematically and philosophically and historically, really the substance of the course. But this is a purely practical thing. Um, I'm starting here on the home page for the course, and I want to be very, I hope, frank with you. You are my students, and so we, you know, we have a special relationship. I don't know you personally. I probably will never know you personally. Um, I'll know you as a student, which is, you know, it's important. But uh, frankness and openness about, you know, what I do as a teacher is absolutely essential. So one of the things I have to say about you know, teaching online at, at, at Temple these days is that there's a lot of interference on the part of administrators who don't really understand online teaching. I hate to say it, but it's true and it's a reality. I'm not saying I'm some kind of expert in online teaching, but I've been teaching online since 2009. And so I've learned a thing or two about what works and what doesn't. These people who are the administrators don't have really the practical experience. Some of them aren't even teachers. They just sort of dictate that certain things have to be a certain way. So uh, the homepage itself is like a, it's like a barrier to the course. Um, I put up a, I think a very appropriate painting for the kind of political subject matter, especially the latter part, which is really kind of revolutionary or, you know, the enlightenment, modern fight for freedom, which is so embodied in Delacroix's painting here, uh, Liberty Leading the People from 1830. Um, but this page is really something that they insist on that teachers have. They have their reasons for doing it, I'm sure. But all it really serves as is a kind of a barrier to getting to what you need to get to in the course. I'm sorry about that. If I had total autonomy in, in setting up the website, I wouldn't have such a barrier. We get right to the, uh, you know, the things you actually have to access right away instead of having to click through this this homepage. But again, I want to be honest with you. This is what they make you do. Uh, one of the things that will be helpful about the homepage, probably the only thing that will be helpful, is the that the announcements will be up here. Of course, you can access the announcements by hitting announcements, but you, you know, every time you open it up, you'll see that there may be new announcements. I want to say something right away about the announcements. I will use them extensively. It is the main way that I have to communicate with you. Since this is an asynchronous course that has no uh, Zoom sessions or live sessions, which is fine. I don't really think they're that great uh, for online courses. But my main way of um, communicating you will be through videos like this. And so I will be sending them out on a regular basis uh, through announcements. Uh, I hope that you get that in your email and get a, a, you know, a, an email that says there's a new announcement. Uh, from the course, I really don't know what it looks like from your end, but I will be using the announcements extensively to, to you know, send out reminders about due dates, uh, to send out uh, videos having to do with the course uh, of all sorts, as you'll see. So I, I would guess the main function of the homepage really is that it's how you'll access announcements unless you access them through your email, which you probably do. So there are different things to start here. If you click on that, you'll find something, uh, you know, the, the different things, the welcome to the course. Again, something that they make you do. I mean, let's face it, there's a lot of nonsense that people talk about in terms of teaching as if it's some kind of complicated thing and you have to do it this way. I mean, it's, it's silly, but we have to put up with it. Uh, geez, I don't know. Uh, so you'll find different things here, like a welcome to the course video, which is another thing they made me make. So a lot of redundancy built in. Um, but if when you get to the home page, the best thing to do, and what you'll eventually just start doing, you know, naturally, is you know ignoring all this stuff and just going straight to modules. Uh, Canvas, which is now the dominant software for educational purposes is in itself rather clunky and it has this idea of mod modules, you know, whatever. But modules is what you need to click on. 
uh, to get to what you need to do to do your work as a student. And once you hit modules, everything that you need, uh, really aside from the syllabus, and I'll talk a little bit about the syllabus, is here. There's an introductory module, which you should start with. Uh, look at the videos that are in here. This video will be available in there, obviously, and uh, other videos, introductory videos, the course outline, uh, your first assignment, which has to do with what I'm calling, you know, rather tongue in cheek, the greatest hits of Western social thought, along with the video assignment one, which is a discussion board assignment, uh, which you just have to respond to this document here in this video that I made here. You'll have about a week. <clears throat> to do that, it's just, you know, it's a non-graded assignment, as many of the assignments for this course are. I will put up the syllabus and course schedule uh, again here, because I just think it's, I think it's nice to have everything in one place. And if everything's in this module section, then it's easily accessed as opposed to hidden away in some other part of the course. But most importantly, if you go into modules and you get by the introductory uh, stuff, you'll see that uh, most of it, all of it is really you know, this is the course as we, and, it, and it's, it's set out in the order in which we'll be reading things and it's set out in terms of assignments and the order in which you need to have things done. Our first reading from Aristotle's politics is here. So the readings are numbered, uh, reading one, uh, which is an excerpt as most of what we read will be excerpts rather than whole works. But, you know, here is the, the first reading. Uh, from Aristotle's Politics. I always just hit download because it's quicker. I have a little Chromebook that's pretty slow. But yeah, do the reading. This is the most important thing is to actually do the readings, right? To actually read them. I mean, everything else is just something else, right? It's, so the readings are the most important part of the course. Do, do the readings. Read through it. They're all really great readings. They're wonderful readings. You will be, you will profit from these readings. Uh, that we'll be doing. And I will be discussing the readings in a thematic introduction to the course, as opposed to this practical introduction. But the readings are all here. And for every reading, uh, and this is, you know, the readings from Aristotle are all grouped together. The readings from Dante are all grouped. So readings are grouped by author, mostly. Um, but they're all numbered, reading one, politics, and then the videos for every reading, there will be a, a, either one video or a set of videos that I will personally make and upload to my YouTube channel and link to our course. So there's, uh, you know, these, uh, these videos, uh, you know, you have to click through a little bit and you'll eventually get to my YouTube channel. And, you know, if you can't access it for some reason, please let me know. Um, so it'll either take you to the individual video or to a playlist on my YouTube channel. Yeah, I have two videos for reading one because it's like a really great, dense, wonderful reading. So, um, so yeah, you know, watch the videos, I would say. Do the reading and watch the videos. If you do the readings and watch the videos, I can't imagine not doing well in the course because the course really is about your familiarity with these readings, the ideas that you develop based on your understanding of these readings. So it's absolutely essential uh, to do the readings. And the videos are really just there to help you with the readings, to give you my, you know, I'm your teacher. I've, I've read these things many times to give you some advice, some guidance, et cetera, but really to encourage you mostly to have ideas of your own. So for every reading, there's uh, the reading, there's the videos, there are the review questions and due dates are, yeah, they're all here, right? So you know when these things are due. You just work your way through. Now, the only thing that might bear some, there might need some uh, explanation is that there's a discussion board basically for each author. But you'll see in each module, this is the Aristotle module, let's say, there is a discussion board. And that discussion board has open dates, right? It opens, uh, you know, on the, the day of the first reading and it closes on the day of the last reading. So sometime within that period and with a deadline right there, let's say the first one, January 25th, you have to write something. You know, there'll be prompts here, but basically you have to make, you're basically just writing your thoughts. Some substantive one to two paragraph response, free response, this is ungraded assignment, as are the, the study questions. 
their completion assignments. And as long as you do them uh, as directed, you'll get full credit. But the discussion board is sometime during that period when the board is open and before the due date, before the board closes, you have to uh, write your own thoughts in some sort of, you know, compact way and then respond to it at least one other student's response with something thoughtful. And I'll be making PowerPoints based upon your work and doing review videos, like what did people say? That'll be like a major thing that I'll be sending out. So as you see, uh, the readings are all grouped around, basically around author. These are all the Aristotle readings, Aristotle discussion board. Then we move on to Dante, and these are all, you know, the same thing. The only difference with Dante is that there's a PDF of the actual book, and I give you the reading page numbers instead of arranging the readings in separate ways. But that'll all be self-explanatory, or I'll be sending out things. So you'll see that we move through the course. Due dates are all here for uh, review questions for each individual reading, and then the discussion board for each individual author, which is open, you know, as long as we're doing the readings right? uh, and has a definite due date. But you should try to start commenting early. You don't have to finish all the readings. Uh, I should say that before you start commenting. Whenever you have an idea, and whether it's about reading one, you can may maybe just respond. You don't have to wait till you do all three Aristotle readings to participate in the discussion board. You can just participate, participate in, in whatever timeline you want. And it would be better if you didn't wait till the very end to start, because you want to get some sort of discussion and communication going. Uh, Dante, Machiavelli, and then you'll see that there's an exam. It's, it's a basic reading knowledge exam. It's like short essay answers or short answers uh, in response to questions about the readings from part one. I'll, I'll be making videos about the particular things like essays and exams, but that's basically the idea. It's a reading knowledge exam. It probably would time it about an hour. Then there's the first reflection essay. As you'll see, there's a, a reflection essay due for each part of the course. Uh, the first reflection essay. Uh, th there's always the, 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 the prompt is always the same. What is the most important idea? or set of ideas that emerges in this series of readings. Why? I'll be, we'll be sending you out uh, a, uh, a video that focuses solely on the reflection essays. But I just wanted to say now, uh, you know, two page essay, um, about 500 words, you know, in, uh, in other words, um, but the idea is to give you some structure. Like you choose what you think is the, the most interesting, the most important, you know, whether you agree with it or not, idea in this whole set of readings. Tell me what it is, and then tell me why you made your choice. Every one of our essays will have this same prompt and this same question. It, it, it forces you to make certain decisions about the readings that you've done, and it forces you to engage in reasoning in support of your choice. So th that's the idea behind the prompt. But again, I will be sending out, when the time comes, a video that focuses on essays and, you know, why I've <clears throat> structured the essays the way I have and what makes for good essays and things like that. But just so you know now. So you have like your regular assignments to do the reading, watch the videos, do the review questions. Again, you just need to answer every question. There's no grading. As long as you do it and turn it in on time, you get full credit, which is one point per set of review questions. Uh, late work, there'll be a late work policy. Basically, if you turn it in late, you get half credit. So you want to, I mean, you can do well in this course, or to do well in this course, you really have to do steady work, uh, do the review questions, and uh, participate in the uh, periodic discussion board. Uh, so yeah, you'll find an exam and a reflection essay uh, after each part of the course, uh, Aristotle, Dante, Machiavelli being part one of the course, and then we move into part two, which is modern liberalism, Hobbes' Leviathan, again, same thing, reading, review questions, I'll be putting up videos, haven't done that yet, uh, discussion board, and we move on to Locke, same thing, due dates are all here, Rousseau, moving into the 18th century, 
And then same thing, there'll be a, an exam uh, on this material and a 500 word reflection essay on the material. Then we move into part three of the course. It's all very self-explanatory. So everything you need for the course is in this section. This is where everything is. Obviously there's no book to buy. All of the readings uh, have been uploaded to the Canvas site and are available to you. You have your reading, you have your videos, you have your review questions. You have your discussion board, and then after we finish part one, you have your exam, which will be done, you know, online, strictly online. Uh, haven't put it in; it'll be worth five points. You have your reflection essay, and then we move on. So the whole the whole course is is here. You know, we move on to the all four parts of the course, ending up with our reading of uh, Du Bois's "The Soul's Black Folk" at the end, which is great, great classic work of American social thought, uh, and then, you know, John Addington Simmons. I mean, I'll, I'll be talking about this stuff. But so, okay, so that's how the course is arranged. Obviously, there is a syllabus, and you just click on that. This is, I still have to finish it, but it's essentially all there. I'm not a big syllabus guy. I mean, I, I think that one of the other things that the administrators who sort of dictate these things, how these websites have to be set up, they don't realize that online courses don't really need a single syllabus document, that it's better to have a module, which is basically what I've done here, an introductory module where you have easier access to each one of the things you need. Um, so there'll be some redundancy here where I'll have things in the syllabus, but most of the things in the syllabus will also be in the introductory uh, module of the course, but everything's here terms of how grades are determined. They make you do these course learning goals, which are also really silly, but they don't really understand how education works because most of them aren't teachers, I'm sorry to say. Um, or the reason they're administrators is because they don't like teaching. Uh, so a lot of their demands are kind of silly, but you have to do what they say just because if you fight every battle, you exhaust yourself. So everything you know, there's stuff here. Uh, I would say that the most um, uh, the most valuable thing here is the assignments and grading, even though there's a redundancy here too. It tells you how many points are available in the course. There's a total of 94 points available in the course. If you add up all the assignments, you get 94. So <clears throat> your grade will be determined just by the percentage of uh, points that you actually score out of the 94. If it was 100, it would be easier, right? But we had to, to adjust it. So here you go. If you, if you get 88 to 94 points, you get an A. 85 to 87, you get an A minus, 83. So that's a combination of uh, these, basically these completion assignments, review questions and discussion boards where you get the full credit if you do it. And you have to make a, a good faith effort that you actually have to do the assignment, but it's not graded. As long as it's done properly and done on time, you get the full credit. The exams and the essays will be graded assignments. So, you know, you'll get a you know, percentage of the available points, but I think it's, it's quite possible to get an A in this course. I mean, as long as you do your work on a regular basis and in your exams and your essays, you, you display that you are familiar with the material, you've read it, and you can express an idea about it and, and explain that idea. That's really all I'm asking you to do. So, so uh, that's about it. Um, I would say, yeah, I can look through the syllabus. There's no harm in that. But again, the most important thing goes pretty much everything you need is going to be in the modules section. And I hope it's laid out in an intuitive and clean, sort of easy to use way. We're, we're starting with Aristotle. and Aristotle is the first thing up there. We're moving on to Dante and, you know, we're moving through the course. There's 40 readings in this course all excerpts, all manageable readings, ending up with Du Bois's Assaults of Black Folk in April. And we'll have time to do everything. So again, uh, that's the course tour, the practical course tour, at least. There'll be another video in which I actually discuss the things that we'll read and why I chose them and you know what, what is this all supposed to be for this course, this mysterious thing called intellectual heritage at Temple with its long history. Um, but if you have any questions, uh, please uh, contact me either directly by email. Don't don't 
contact me through the Canvas site because I never check that. Just email me directly at my email, which is all over the place uh, on the syllabus and in the opening page, or call me on my cell phone. I'd be happy to talk to you. So again, if you ever have any questions about the course, about your own performance in the course, or just want to talk about the course, uh, just call me or email me, and that would be great.